Yo, what's going on with y'all? It's your boy NeoXO coming back at y'all with another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the spoilers for Black Clover Chapter 320. Now, these spoilers is heat. These spoilers in heat is heat. We're going to have to really talk about this. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. But getting right into these spoilers. To start off where we left off, like in last chapter, we seen how Asta was about to hit Lucifero. Now, some people was talking about this saying, ain't no way Asta going to touch Lucifero. Some people were saying, Lucifero is about to get smacked. What ended up happening was kind of in between. So Asta ends up going to Lucifero. Lucifero kind of sidestep. And what ends up happening is Asta just barely kind of like clips off a, a piece of his horn. Like he kind of like, he kind of like barely touched the horn. Like, so a small piece of Lucifero horn got clipped off. Now, I wonder if Lucifero, we're going to say that for later, but Lucifero was not happy, bro. Like in the very next, the very next page, Asta got obliterated. Like it's crazy, bro. Like Asta really got hit hard. Basically, Lucifero started raging bad. Like it's crazy how much Lucifero started raging over this, this tiny little cut to to his horn. Like he he raged so bad that Asta just immediately got destroyed. And when I seen it, I was like dang lucifero is that strong and the reason i said it is because obviously lucifero is gonna be strong right but the thing is i like i like to it to be proven to a certain extent like because we knew lucifero was gonna be strong of course but we didn't know how strong he was gonna be and now him just defeating asla just in like a rage in like a, a split second in a blink of an eye type type thing it just solidifies how strong he is and then throughout this chapter he just continues to assert his dominance because he just sweeps through the captains now i'm gonna talk about that in a second but let's let's stay on this asa for a second he just beats asa so fast so people were saying like i say that because like i like to be proven about the the strength of a character because people were overhyping morris whenever morris was like called the the quote-unquote main villain for like what a couple chapters and morris was not that strong even though he had the powers of lucifero he got he got demolished so that's why i'm like saying it's cool to see how strong lucifero is because asta's in his devil union mode all right and asta is just one of the strongest characters in general so lucifero just rolled him up and sent him on his way now the captains end up seeing this of course because they all on the same battlefield at this point the battlefield is looking very futile now the captains see this and they they go to the aid of trying to help asta because lucifero is mad very mad at asta basically we know asta clipped off a piece of his horn asta stopped his manifestation and it, it really makes asta it, like whenever the second gate devil made that comparison like an ant cannot defeat an elephant it's it's just useless it's, it's futile this is showing that right here because we know asta's strong and Asta, he's really not doing anything to be able to defeat Lucifero. Like, think about it. He's only doing things to annoy Lucifero further. And that's basically it. Like, he's like an ant to Lucifero at this point because he's just aggravating him. Because he sliced off his, arm, his horn. He stopped his manifestation. Then we got Libe in the mix, too. Libe... Remember, uh, Lucifer tried to take over the Libe body and then Lucida got in the way. So he like, man, I got to these people just in the way. So Lucifer is obviously mad at that, especially where, where he's from. Nobody even step up to him. Nobody stands up to Lucifer at all where he's from, from what we, from what the information that we know. So yeah, they basically get like a captain's round two with Lucifer and Jack stepped in to help. Charlotte stepped in to help. And you know, they're, they're helping for two main reasons. The first reason, the most obvious one, not like Knox said at the at the captain's meeting, the captains are very well aware that Asta is gonna be needed to defeat the devils. They're just aware of that. And they have faith in Asta. So and then also like Miriam Leona said, like Asta just be trying his hardest. He just a kid at the end of the day. He's still just a kid. Like they these some grown adults, you know, trying to they and they magic night. So they gotta like step up in a way especially to inspire the youth you know what i'm saying they gotta be like an example so the fact that the captains are stepping up 
is is like some of the photos some of those reasons that i said but uh, another big reason i think that the captains all have grown like an attachment to asta like we've seen they were all looking at him with like kind of like a curiosity whenever he was in the magic knights exams because they were like this is very peculiar they don't he don't have no magic and now they just i feel like they like asta a lot because he just grown on everybody and the, the fight between Lucifero and the captains kind of continues on. I mean, we see Nozel try to do something, which is, we already know what happened to him last chapter, but I'm going to keep moving on. Uh, we see Mirio Leona try to help. It was pretty cool. They had a pretty cool panel with Mirio Leona and Fugelian. Really cool panel. It's like a, it's like a sister and brotherly type of attack. You know, they just kind of attacking together that really didn't do nothing um lucifero is just dominating i'm not gonna lie like this is this is i ain't gonna lie that's what i wanted to see because i couldn't see no more morris just coming in being like a, a villain then getting defeated in two chapters lucifero is gonna be here until they make him leave guys like lucifero is not nothing to play with he's he's even more stronger than i thought he was gonna be to be honest I at least thought the captains was gonna be able to touch him or, you know, like, I mean, obviously they can touch him, but I, when I when I say that, I mean like hurt him in a, a substantial way. So then after Lucifero does all this, he basically defeats the captains again. Round two, they wasn't gonna win. Um, he, he beat all the captains. We got a panel with the second gay devil. He's basically still a neutral party He's saying, they did a lot better than I thought for what I thought the humans could do, but they're still humans at the end of the day. Ain't no way they're about to beat Lucifero. This is about to be over right now. And Lucifero is crazy. This panel right here is crazy. Lucifero tries to stump out Asta, bro. Like he tried to stump Asta out and make his lights go like night night. Like he tried to do that to Asta on on panel and then that's when the, the like i guess the coolest moment in this chapter goes to you know because he had a moment in this chapter uses his star magic and you know how you could transport and teleport things out the way um he teleports asta out of the way of getting stumped out by lucifero and he's like finally it's my time to save you or something like that or my time to return the favor um i can only assume he's talking about the time where asta saved him as a kid but that's just me assuming because you know saved asta before um like it, it, it kind of i guess i guess he has to be referring to him whenever he's a kid because i feel like he didn't really fully save asta against mars he did and he didn't i'm gonna leave that to y'all but i uh, this right once again this is just like the fan translations um and it's very very early i like to be on top i like to be on top of uh the content so at this point most of the chapter not even completely fan translated so it's gonna be a while before we get the fan translations and then of course the official translation so let me know what you guys think about these spoilers the developments in this series and yeah with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed the video it's been your boy neo xo and i'm